What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. I am excited today because I get to show you guys my new favorite battery powered speaker. And that's not a joke. This is literally my new favorite battery powered speaker that we have in the arsenal. And I've been highly recommending it to people on Instagram and stuff that have been DMing me. And I've been meaning to make a video. I'm pretty sure over a year now since Mackie has sent this to me, but the Mackie Fump Go, let's get into it. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the Mackie Fump Go. Full disclosure, Mackie did send me over two of these probably about a year ago now. We actually instantly started using them. You might've seen in some of my gig logs. I've been using them as like cocktail speakers, but these things are awesome. I'm not gonna lie, this is my new favorite battery powered DJ speaker on the market right now, pretty much because it fits all the needs. It's very bare bones. It doesn't have a lot of fluff that you don't need, unlike some other ones out there, Bose S1 and some other company speakers, blah, blah, blah. It's an eight inch speaker. It's plenty loud. It's got a great battery life. Let's just jump into it. Let's talk about everything related to the Mackie Fump Go. And we're gonna break this down to a couple different segments. So first off, we're gonna talk about all the specs of the speaker. Then we're gonna go through all the features of it. Just make sure we cover all the aspects of the Mackie Fump Go. Then I'm gonna basically express to you guys my opinion personally on using the speaker for the last year now at my events and where I think I highly recommend this to other DJs out there in the market. So let's jump into it with all of the specs on the Mackie Fump Go. So spec wise on the Mackie Fump Go, what we're looking at here again is a battery powered speaker with a battery life of up to 12 hours. And I will say in practice, in use, this thing does have a very incredible battery. I've done multiple weddings back to back using it for like one to two hours for cocktail and ceremony and didn't charge it for the next one. It, the battery life on this thing is tremendous. It's more than enough to get you through a weekend for full of events, honestly. I will note in some of the close-ups, you'll see that I have some flecks of uh, white paint on that. That's because this speaker is honestly like my go-to party speaker to if I'm doing work outside, if I'm doing, if I'm going somewhere, I bring this speaker along because it's loud, it's got a long battery life, like you don't have to worry about charging it, and it's Bluetooth, you can link two of them together if you really need some volume. We're gonna get into that in the specs and everything, but we got a metal grill on the outside, it is an all plastic enclosure on the outside. We have monitor feet, so if you wanna flip this thing off, put it in the monitor wedge, you can do that as well. We're looking at, I mentioned already, we have an eight inch woofer on the bottom, one inch compressor up top. This thing is pretty incredible when it comes to how loud it is, and we will measure that here in a little bit. On the back side here, we have our power in, power switch on and off. This is pretty much for charging. You can be charging and running it at the same time. That is an option if you need to run out of battery. Overall, you can see me picking this thing up and throwing it around. It weighs 17.6 pounds. It's incredibly light and easy to throw around. Nice big handle here on the top for carrying. It has a little green accent to it. That is the only handle on the whole entire thing. But again, it's a tiny speaker. I mean, I can lift and throw this thing around like it's nothing. We have a pole mount on the bottom. Awesome, good to go. Turn it on real quick. There is a LED light at the bottom here, an indicator light. You can shut that off on the back. I'll show you that in a second. And the Mackie logo here in the middle is turnable. You can turn this thing around. You can spin it depending on if you're in a vertical or a monitor to make sure the logo is presented properly. Coming around to the main controls of this speaker, we have a lot of functionality and my favorite part about this speaker is that all the buttons are just, you can easily push and activate all of the different features. You don't have to actually jump on an app to be able to control it. I like hard controls on the speakers. I'm not a big fan of all these speaker companies having apps to control the speaker and blah, blah, blah. You, you never use it. Like you play around with it once, you never use it. If you want like controls, you would want controls on like a mixer, like the QSC touch mix stuff. That stuff is really cool to be able to control on an app. My DBX drive rack, I use it all the time to use on the app to control it. Being able to control speaker stuff, I'm not a big proponent of having an app. I would rather just be able to do it on the actual speaker. Going up here on the top, we have different modes for the speaker. We have music, speech, monitor, and sub. Sub, of course, means that you're pairing this with a sub. So basically it takes all of the low out of the speaker and allows you to push the highs a little bit harder. We have an outdoor mode. It doesn't really do much in my practice of hearing the speaker. I can't really tell that it changes the actual profile of the speaker much, 
but there is an outdoor mode for when you're outdoors. Again, I haven't really seen a difference in using that or not. We have music ducking mode, which is really cool. So basically, whatever you're playing on channel two, if you have a mic plugged in the channel one and you go to talk, it'll lower the volume a little bit. This is kind of handy during cocktail if you have a microphone plugged in here and you're playing music via Bluetooth maybe, and you need to make an announcement, you don't have to worry about turning down the music, you can just start talking, and then all of a sudden the music gets brought down so that your voice projects over the music. Really handy little feature. Feedback eliminator, again, same sort of thing if you're using microphones, this helps with eliminating that feedback from those microphones. You'll find a similar feature like this in like the LD Systems Maui 5 Go's that we predominantly use at our ceremonies, but the Mackie Fump goes also have that feature built in to help suppress the microphones. If you accidentally get too close to the speaker, it's gonna help you out as much as it can to prevent feedback. It won't 100% eliminate it. That's extremely hard to do, and you normally need a mixer with uh, like 32-bit channels or something like that to be able to do that, but good to know that we have a feature that's gonna help reduce our feedback. Then beside that, we have our front LED on and off. Like I mentioned, you can turn off the LED. Uh, I will say by default, it always turns on. So like I just turned it off. If I turn off the speaker and I turn it back on, the LED is gonna turn back on. Then of course, channel one right here, we have our volume gain in the middle. Uh, we can set this to a line or a mic level input. Then on channel two right here, we can actually plug in a headphone cable. So we have a 3.5 millimeter or TRS cable plug-in. So you can plug hard control into maybe an iPad or a laptop to do that. Both channel one and two do have combo XLR and quarter inch inputs as well. Good to see. Channel two is also our control for our Bluetooth music as well. This speaker has both Bluetooth pairing so that you can pair a device to play music to it and we have Bluetooth linking. So we can actually link this speaker via Bluetooth to a second Mackie Fump Go right next to it to increase our coverage, increase our overall sound output, which is really handy when you're in different situations where you have to put two or three speakers, you don't have to run a cable in between them. Very handy feature, we've used it a couple times at cocktails where cocktails are in like an indoor outdoor situation. We can set two speakers kind of literally right beside each other, like one inside, one outside and Bluetooth pair them, works really well. Then we have our master main volume here our through output if we need to link this to another thing. You're not normally doing that with this speaker. You normally just Bluetooth link it, it's a lot simpler. And then up here we have our peak overload. So when you are playing the speaker at maximum volume, you will see that light turn on to let you know you are at the maximum volume. I will say this has a lot of output and you don't normally get to the overload. Then beside it, we have our battery indicator and down here at the bottom, they have a nice little reminder so you always know what the battery indicator means, but I'll read it to you real quick. So when the battery indicator is green, you have more than 20% battery. That is a very wide range, but remember, we're talking about 12 hours of battery here. So whenever the speaker is green, you know you have at least two hours of battery roughly to get through. Probably a little bit more than that, but. As long as it is green, you know you got more than two hours of battery life in this speaker. Yellow, it says getting sleepy, which basically means you're less than 20%. So you know you have maybe an hour left of battery in the speaker. And red basically is charge me, we're, we're dead. And then off, no charge. Now I would like to see a better battery indicator on the speaker. That's one of my cons to the speaker. I would like to see a better battery indicator. But again, in our usage, in my usage, and our team's usage with these speakers, the battery life is honestly incredible. We easily get 10 hours, eight hours. At, we honestly, ne I have never seen that battery indicator yellow. I've never seen it. We just, you know, if we're gonna go do a bunch of events this weekend, we throw it on the charger for a little bit, it's good to go. I can't express how like the battery life is just like, you don't have to worry about it. As long as you're charging it up once a week, maybe once every other week, it's got plenty of battery. Along the lines of battery indicators, when you do plug this thing in to charge it, the green LED on the front here becomes your indicator to tell you when it's fully charged. It'll be blinking when it is charging and it'll be solid when it is fully charged. Last couple features I wanna mention real quick, the battery itself actually is removable if you need to swap it for any reason. There's just a couple of big Phillips screws on the bottom. These are like plastic oversized screws so you don't strip them out. You remove that, you can pop the battery out and change it. Again, I've mentioned it many times, the battery life on this thing is incredible. I don't see why you would ever need to replace the battery on it. But down the line, you know, if the battery does start to crap itself, maybe like 
three, four, or five years later, you can replace it, which is awesome. And that battery on the inside is a lithium ion battery. So it is some of the latest and greatest battery technology. We're looking at 5,200 milliamp hour battery. And uh, for you guys that want watt hours, we're looking at 76.96 watt hours inside that battery. And lastly, I will let you know that the amplifier, of course, we have a class D amplifier and we're pumping out 200 watts of overall power in this speaker. And you guys are probably like, it's not a thousand watts, it's gonna be quiet. Just, just know that in speakers right now, if, if this is the first video you've watched of mine, first, hit the subscribe button. Second off, if you're watching this video, know that whenever you see a company list how many watts their speaker puts out, output, just know that you need to take it with a, a very large handle full of salt because that number is never accurate. That's not a good number to compare speaker to speaker. It does not work. Like you cannot, because this speaker is 200 watts, or the company says this speaker is 200 watts and the next speaker is 1,000 watts, the, this speaker could be louder than the one with 1,000 watts. It is a very bad measurement. There's ways that companies can manipulate how that number is presented. It could be the RMS power, it could be the peak power, it could be under artificial situations, it could be a mathematical calculation of the max output, it could be a true reading power. Just know, when you're looking at the spec sheets on speakers, you cannot trust the actual watt output. You also, for the most part, cannot trust the dB output, which they do not list the dB output on the speaker. We're gonna measure it here shortly to see what I get readings. But then again, if you are comparing speakers, I would also not compare the dB output because there's a dBA reading and a dBC reading, and depending on which one they're using, it could be different. Are they measuring at six feet away, right up on the damn grill? Are they, is it a mathematical calculation of the max dB output? Or are they doing it in a controlled environment with soundproofing where there's no echo? Just know that if you are comparing speakers out there, the only way to do it is in person. The only way for you to tell if this speaker sounds better than that speaker is to do an AB comparison. So I highly recommend you become friends with all the DJs in your area and whatever speakers they have, if you wanna go listen to them, Ask them, see if you can go borrow them for a gig. Pay them a couple hundred bucks, go borrow them for your gig. That's the best way to get experience with the speakers on the market. If you have a guitar center or a DJ store that has speakers that you can go listen to, that is the greatest thing ever. I highly recommend if you live in somewhere where there's no speakers for you to go demo. If say there's a guitar center in a bigger city near you, even if it's like an hour or two hours away, go drive that two hours to make sure you get to listen to that speaker before you drop thousands of dollars buying those speakers. Quick little side tangent there, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel because I speak the truth to you guys. Anyways, let's get over to doing a little sound demo with this speaker. All right, so Mackie Fump Go set up right over there. This is the same setup I did for the last Mackie Go video or Mackie video where we did the Mackie Fump. If you haven't checked that video, go check it out. So just like last time, we have the Audio Technica mic right here. This mic is the best mic possible. It's pretty expensive for me to be able to give you guys the most accurate sounding uh, representation of the speaker. I do have it hooked up over here to the Zoom H6 and we will pair the audio over um, so that you guys can hear the accurate levels and everything about this speaker. I will say I am gonna be doing this speaker completely on Bluetooth streaming, uh, not really streaming. We're gonna be playing off of Spotify uh, via Bluetooth to the speaker. All the tracks are on the highest level quality setting from Spotify and all of the tracks are downloaded to the phone so we are not actually streaming or buffering any of the music. So we are playing at the highest quality level bit rate to the speaker, but the only downside is we are doing Bluetooth. We're not actually powering it directly, but I think most people that are gonna be using this speaker for a cocktail or maybe even a ceremony will be actually using it in a Bluetooth environment. So that's why I want to give you guys that representation so you guys can hear it. We're also gonna be measuring how loud the actual speaker is with my dB meter that I cannot find. So we got a nice high quality. This is like a $60 dB meter. If you guys want it, I'll link it down below. I'll link all the stuff I'm using to do this test as well down below for you guys to check out. But we're gonna be measuring how loud the speaker is all the way up at the grill for the maximum dB output and also right here at the microphone to see how loud it is as well. Now, I already did do some testing off camera, turned it up, and I will let you guys know that you can literally go full volume with Bluetooth, full volume on the speaker, full volume, like literally max all the volume knobs, and you just now hit the overload on the speaker. So, in terms of handling input volume levels to the speaker, it can handle some incredibly loud inputs, 
and still deliver with quality. So let's go ahead. We're going to play some non-copyright music and you guys are going to be able to listen to it on the actual audio. So we're going to switch over to that audio source and I will show you the DB reading that I'm also getting so you guys know I'm not faking any of this. And then after that, we might pull out the LD Systems Maui 5 Go for a little side-by-side -side comparison to see which one is louder, which it's not going to be a fair comparison because the LD Systems Maui 5 Go cost two to three times more expensive than the speaker, but just so you guys get an accurate comparison, we may do that. We're going to turn you guys over to the audio technical mic. I'm going to actually position you guys right over here behind the mic so you guys can hear how the speaker sounds. So, hope you guys enjoyed the sound demo. We were actually at the loudest volume that that speaker can possibly pump out. There wasn't really any distortion on my end listening to this, just giving you guys my perspective. We don't have much bass on this speaker. And I mean, it is an eight inch speaker, so we're not gonna have much bass. I will say at lower volumes, the bass is fuller. And I think that just really shows that the tweeter can overshine the actual eight inch woofer in this speaker and produce a lot more volume. Now that is why this speaker comes in really nice for ceremonies and cocktails. Cause normally you're not going to be cranking the speaker all the way up. Most of the time when I'm Bluetoothing to the speaker at cocktail for even like a hundred, 150 people, I'm at like half volume. I'm not trying to crank this speaker to its maximum capabilities. I'm not trying to blow out anybody. I mean, we're going to roughly in the 100 to 105 decibel range here about six, seven feet away from the speaker. And that is incredibly loud for a little speaker like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually see how loud this thing is right up on the speaker so you guys can see the maximum output and compare it to some other speakers out there that you might know of. Or if you get yourself one of these meters, you can do the same test at your own leisure to test your speakers. I'm about seven feet away. You can go right up on it and see how loud it is as well. But I will also preference, it's not always about how loud the speaker is. The clarity is very important. That's something that I'm trying to showcase with this mic right here and also expressing to you guys. The highs on this sound pretty good. The mids are pretty solid. Again, we are Bluetoothing, so we are probably losing a little bit of quality in the audio portion in comparison to going hardwired. Hearing the speaker in person, I am very impressed with the output of it. It passes the average listener test, which in my opinion is like, would the average listener notice that this speaker sounds bad, good, or amazing? It passes the test, it sounds great, it sounds good. No one's gonna knock it, it sounds awesome. So let's see how loud it is, absolutely. And then let's pull out that LD Systems Maui 5 Go and do a little head to head. How about that, how about that? Let's crank her back up. <laughs> So testing wise, I was getting roughly the highest readings I was getting was like 125 to 126. 126.6 was the absolute max I got on, uh, we're, we are on the DBA setting. So we do have some different variables there to play around with. DBC does tend to read a little bit louder potentially, but DBA wise, we're reading 26.6 max right up against the speaker, which is a solid reading, especially for a battery powered speaker. It's battery powered. Keep that in mind, this, this speaker's battery powered. There are no wires running to the speaker. It is just the speaker. Incredible. All right, so now let's have some fun. Let's have some fun real quick. All right, so that took me a whopping 30 seconds to put that speaker together. That's the best part about battery powered speakers. They're literally just plug and play. So here, right here, we have the LD Systems Maui 5 Go. This speaker is also an eight inch speaker. So we have an eight inch sub down there on the ground. You guys can go check out my video on this on the ceremony rigs. 8 inch sub on the ground, we have 3 sticks, the, the bottom stick is the battery, the middle stick is a spacer, and the top stick is where we have the drivers. Now, I'm also going to straight up tell you before I even test this, that this is a nowhere near fair comparison at all. That LED Systems Maui 5 go over there retails for over $1,000. I'm not entirely sure what the exact price is right now because of all the inflation going on, but last time I bought one, 
I was paying $1,000 for that speaker. So Mackie Fump Go over here, you're looking at $350 map pricing right now. It used to be cheaper than that too. So we're looking at a speaker that costs a third of that speaker, which is why I've been recommending that speaker because it's way cheaper. You could buy two of them for less than that. And when you have two of them, you can use one of them at the ceremony and one of them at the cocktail. Or if you have a bigger ceremony, you use both of them. We'll get into that in my opinion. So let's go ahead. We're gonna play the exact same song for you guys. I'm not changing the levels at all on this mic. It's the exact same levels throughout the whole entire testing. So let's go ahead and crank up. We're gonna play, um, let's play, whoops, nope, not a venture. We're gonna play Puzzle by Retrovision. We're gonna start at 40-ish seconds and play through for you guys to hear. And I will measure the decibels. Again, we're gonna be playing at pretty much max volume on both speakers for a absolute fair comparison. Again, about seven to six feet away, listening distance as well. So, here we go. Solid, solid. Sounds great. Uh, again, hitting right about the same decibel readings, right around 100-ish decibels. When the bass starts hitting, it does back down a little bit into like the 90s, uh, but on the high end, we're looking at 100, 105 decibels, again, at six to seven feet. So let me go ahead and pair over to the LD Systems Maui 5 Go, and we'll play the exact same song, and I'm already anticipating this to blow it out of the water. Okay, I'm laughing already because I did a little test, and yeah, this is gonna be, this isn't even fair. I mean, we already talked about it. So, Let's listen in to what the LD Systems Maui 5 Go sounds like in comparison. Same song, here we go. Let me just start off, let's talk about DB. Then I don't wanna talk about sound quality because Big difference here. DB wise, this was hitting more. I showed you guys, it was roughly at like 103, 102, 103 at the beginning of the song, which was actually roughly the same in terms of loudness again as the Mackie Fump Go. And then I realized that the tweeters are up to, actually up a little bit higher. So I just raised my sound meter up a little bit. And then I was getting more like 109, 110 decibels of output from this speaker at this distance. So that is an incredibly bigger distance. If you guys don't know anything about decibel readings, it is an exponential curve. One decibel is not just like one notch louder. It is a significant amount more. The average listener needs about six to nine decibels of difference to hear a distinguishable, like twice as loud difference. But for a expert listener like myself, normally I can detect about a three decibel difference in this. So we're looking at about a six decibel difference in the speakers, which is a big deal when it comes down to actual volume output. Now, let's just talk about overall sound quality. One of the biggest distinguishing features about the bigger, louder speaker over here is that the sub is on the ground. So that eight inch subwoofer, one, it has a bigger enclosure and it's on the ground, it can move more air. And if you don't know anything about subwoofers, if you pair them with a wall, a floor, they get louder. So right off the bat, the bass is way better on the LD Systems Maui 5 Go. Again, only because it's on the ground and it has a bigger enclosure to move more air. So we do have more bass output. Again, not really fair. On the high end, we also have a not fair comparison. We have, I believe, four or six high inch or high and mid drivers on the LD Systems Mavic 5 Go versus one horn on the Mackie Fump Go. Overall wise, I will say the clarity is slightly better on the LD, but the Mackie holds its own. I'm very, listening to these two side by side, the LD does get louder. It is a little bit clearer but the Mackie holds its own. Even though the LD has more bass, the Mackie still, again, just holds its own because we need to talk about what we're gonna be using these speakers for. These two speakers right here are my favorite go-to speakers to use for outdoor events and particular mobile areas where we just need sound in a room. When we need to put sound in a side room for cocktail, when we need to put sound outside for ceremony, when we need to fill a room for an outdoor kind of cocktail uh, meet and greet charity event or something like that, 
I want to go to these speakers because we don't have to run power to them. They're battery powered and they're loud. They fill the room, but you know, you don't need sound piercing output out of these speakers for those type events. These speakers are not meant to be your main speakers. So again, fun little comparison right here between the LD Systems Maui 5 Go, Mackie Fump Go. Overall, of course, the LD Systems Maui 5 Go is the better speaker out of the two. But again, we're talking about a thousand plus dollar speaker versus a 350 ish dollar speaker. Not a fair comparison at all. And I will say for the money that Mackie Fump Go is a way better deal. It is almost as good as that speaker right there. It holds its own. It's right in there neck and neck. If you want just a little bit more on the clarity and the quality, you're gonna pay three times as much for that speaker. Honestly, I also forgot to mention that the LD Systems Maui 5 Go is four pieces. You have to put the three sticks in a bag and then the subwoofer is a bag, way heavier than this thing put together. I mean, that whole combination is around 30, 40 pounds. I'm not exactly know the numbers, but you know, each of these speakers is different and it fits a different form factor, even when we're talking about coverage. But this video is all about the Mackie Fump Go right here. So I don't wanna give the LD too much shine in this video because this speaker right here is the speaker I've been recommending to people for the last six months that are asking me what speaker to buy for cocktail and ceremony speakers. It's this guy right here. I freaking love it. This thing right here, the J Bose came out with one, JBLs came out with one like this, but both of those speakers, they have too much two features well one the bose is smaller and doesn't have nearly the output the jbl eon one compact is more closer to this speaker but the jbl is just way too expensive it costs literally like twice as much as this speaker i think it's going for like 600 dollars or something don't quote me look it up the jbl is a way more expensive speaker and i a b'd them side by side when we first got this i've since got rid of the jbl otherwise i would a to b it here in the, the garage for you guys the jbl like it ducks out all the time like if you start pushing the speaker it just limits itself too much this speaker powers through and you don't get that when it comes to output i would take this speaker all day long over the jbl eon one compact so this is one of those rare moments where i'm going to tell you guys that i 100 percent recommend you guys go buy yourself one of these it is awesome especially for beginner dj just everyone in general this speaker is so versatile and that is the biggest thing for me especially in building our company and building the arsenal of gear we have i want to buy pieces of gear that have many purposes that's why we like a lot of the stuff that we buy like up lights our column arrays and variety of things our microphones everything we try to buy with the intention of being able to use it for multiple different purposes. Pipe and drape is a great example of that. We can use that pipe and drape structure to hang stuff, signs, etc. We don't even have to use just pipe and drape. We can use the base plates and the poles to hang bistro lights. Very versatile stuff. This speaker right here is by far the most versatile speaker we have in our arsenal at this point. One, the speaker is extremely small. This speaker is literally, you guys can see in comparison to my head, this speaker is really tiny. It's battery powered that it lasts for like 10 hours and it's plenty loud for the things we're going to use it for we've actually used multiples of these in chains out at like little charity festival cocktail type events to put sound throughout the whole entire area it's nice it's kind of small and compact it doesn't really have a big form factor it's not ugly either so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb at our events it's bluetooth it's got bluetooth linking like this speaker honestly i I don't want to rant and rave for too long on this video, but just know that this is by far one of my favorite speakers, if not of all time that's came out. It is just so good. And the price point is right in my opinion for this speaker. Last I checked, we're right around $350. Might be a little more, might be a little less, depending on where you get it. I'll link down below the best places that I can find that you can get a good deal on this. Probably Amazon, especially if you guys are using the Amazon Prime card and getting 5% cash back a little plug right there if you guys don't have the amazon prime card check it out you get five percent cash back on all your pur purchases on amazon really good hack but yeah the speaker it's awesome that's that's all i gotta tell you guys i i highly recommend it if you were gonna buy these for your setup i recommend buying two of these that's my personal opinion if i'm gonna be using this for a ceremony which i have done typically a ceremony up to 100 people i'll use one of them if we're over 100 people i'll use two of them at a cocktail normally i just use one of these at Regardless, I just, one of them fits the bill for anywhere from 100 to 200 people, depending on the room size. And it depends on if it's indoor and outdoor. But 
Two of these is a great investment. You do have to get a speaker stand for these. So that is a con versus the LD. You don't need a speaker stand, but you gotta bring a speaker stand, the speaker, and you're good to go to play music wherever you need to do it at your events. You can also use a gravity stand if you wanted a more cleaner look and not have the tripod legs. You could put this on a gravity stand as well. But yeah, two of these is the best investment I think right now when it comes to building yourself a battery powered speaker system set up for doing ceremonies and cocktails, wherever they may be, this is the best option in my opinion is to pick up two of these. Again, you can get two of these for less than just buying one LD Maui 5 Go. I do love my LD Maui 5 Go's, but they came out before this speaker. And you know, each one of these speakers is for different purposes. The LD is a fuller range speaker. It's uh, got a cleaner profile because it is a column array. It's not as bulky, even though this isn't really that bulky. But for most of you guys out there, including myself, this is the speaker we're gonna be buying from here on out. It's just a way better, cleaner, more versatile. And if I didn't mention, you could take this thing with you on trips. Like if you're going to the beach, just grab this speaker, take it to the beach, play it as a nice, awesome uh, Bluetooth speaker. It's gonna last the whole entire damn day with 10 hours of battery, if not more. Anyways, at this point, I've been ranting and raving about this speaker for way too long. Any of you guys that have hit me up via Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, hit me up at DJ Rick Webb. That is your guys' best outlet if you guys want to reach out to me to ask any questions or comments or concerns, that's where you need to go. Hit me up in the DMs on Instagram. I respond to everybody, I view all the messages, I go through, respond to all of them. I also respond to every single comment down below. And if you're watching the video at this point in the video, you know what to do if you've seen the videos before. Put hashtag squad in the comments down below so I know who the true people are that are watching all my videos and truly supporting what I'm doing here on the channel. Lastly, I've mentioned in the last couple of videos now, Atlantic City, New Jersey DJX convention is happening August 7th through the 10th. I will be there along with my company, Both Lighting USA. We'll have a nice big booth on the show floor for you guys to check out all the Both Lighting products. I'm also bringing my custom turntable booth. So if you guys wanna see the custom turntable booth that I built in person, it'll be there. We're also working on some lineups for some DJs that you guys probably know on the internet that are gonna spin in our booth. So stay tuned for all the information. Again, follow me on Instagram. That's the best way to get a hold of me in terms of knowing everything that's going on. I film a lot of behind the scenes. If you wanna know all the ins and outs of whatever is going on, the deals, etc. Things that I care about sharing with my core audience, it's on Instagram. So hit me up at DJ Rick Webb on Instagram. Also, you guys probably saw it, but we're doing a giveaway. I probably plugged it somewhere in this video, but we're doing a giveaway on bothlightingusa.com, giving away a four pack of tubes and the best setups, getting a pair of wash movers. Check it out, bothlightingusa.com. Anyways, thank you guys so much, as always, for watching, liking the video. If you guys are interested in the Mackie Fump Go, I will link it down below. What speakers do you want to see next on the channel? Let me know. Anyways, peace out, keep them record spinning, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.